we've been meeting with a number of different MPs, um, two from the Conservative Party and we've also met with two Labour politicians as well. And it's been really encouraging to be able to engage with them and be able to relay some of the stories that people have had regarding, you know, the experience they have experiencing food poverty. And we've, you know, it's been great to raise issues and try and get stuff relayed directly to uh, people higher up who are making decisions that are actually impacting uh, people's lives. A key thing we did was to have a sheet of paper with all the findings that we'd had um, regarding welfare reform and how that was impacting food poverty. And we found that found that really helpful and then at the same time we can also give personal reflections on some of the experiences that vulnerable people are having in terms of the benefit system and how that's leaving them with very little and therefore putting them in a state of food poverty. One of the stories we've had recently is, is Stuart Andrews, he's a Conservative MP for Pudsey, he went to the Holiday Hunger Bill reading with Frank Field and that uh, bill itself has been able to stimulate some pilot activity which is going to benefit um, some of the poorest kids around the UK. So we found that really encouraging. We've also had stuff relayed directly by Stuart Andrew and Alex Shelbrook to the Work and Pension Secretary David Gork, or the then Work and Pension Secretary David Gork. And that was really encouraging to be able to get some of our stuff relayed directly to the person who actually makes a lot of the decisions that are actually impacting people. So we found it good to work across the board, not just with people from Labour or the Liberal Democrats, but also to work with the people who are actually in government, and that obviously is the Conservative Party. I was really pleased at how easy it was to actually get a meeting with people. A key thing is making sure that someone in the meeting is actually from their constituency and they're the people who actually send out the invitation. That's been really important. But it's been good to see that people are willing to engage and willing to talk and the need to do things repetitively. So we've met with, um, we've had four meetings with two Conservative MPs, met them both twice on, on different occasions and that's been really good to be able to do that repetitively and we look forward to doing that as we go through 2018. I think if you can get a group together and then map out who are the MPs in your area, map out which people are in their constituencies that you know, and then look to engage with them and look to put forward a, a kind of, at least the side of A4 on some of the findings that you're experiencing, especially regarding welfare provision and the concerns you have and how that is linked to food poverty. I think that's a really good thing to do for any hen, end hunger group in the UK. The impact is always to see tangible benefits come through at a national level which impact people on the ground here in Leeds but obviously um, we want to see that wider as well so looking for tangible benefits so obviously the holiday hunger bill is, 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 is a slow burner if you like but to be able to be able to see tangible benefits like some pilots been set up is really good and it's a credit to all the people Frank Field and lots of other people yourselves at End Hunger UK who worked on that um, being able to see some change obviously we need to see a lot more and we need to keep putting on the pressure so that we can support some of the most vulnerable people in our towns and cities across the United Kingdom. We would like this year to see a holiday hunger bill passed in order for children um, not to live in poverty during the holidays. We would like to see a food insecurity bill passed so that food security is measured and we can evidence in a government-based um, acceptable way that food poverty does exist and that the levels of it are alarming. We also feel as part of the End Hunger UK campaign, we've created a lot of dialogue and conversation with um, service users, with agencies, with local residents, um, including the Step Up to the Plate campaign, where these are some of the key issues that some of, local, um, some of the local people through the network have identified. The fact we should stop benefit sanctions, the fact that everybody needs an adequate income, the fact that we need to share wealth and that we need to provide living wages. The fact that food matters, it's not about access to cheap food, it's about access to food that's of a standard that ensures people's well-being. It's about us as local people working together to care for our communities and stand up to the government and say this is not acceptable in 2018. As I said, we'd like to see later this year, in October, a bill passed which shows free school meals during holidays to alleviate the pressure on families on low income. 
But most importantly, we'd like to see the introduction of a food justice bill to eradicate food poverty in Britain. Thank you.